何をしようとしているどこへ行こうというんだ移ろわざるものそうだというのか違う人は。Hello again, folks, and welcome to a new Let's Play. This is Breath of Fire 4, produced by Capcom in 2000, strangely enough. And it's honestly probably, uh, I can't place it as one of my favorite games, but it is definitely one of the greatest games that I've played. Easily uh, raking up there with Final Fantasy 7 and Breath of Fire 3 in my regard. Now, that said... Uh, my experience with Breath of Fire 4 is kind of minimal. I had beaten it way, 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 way back in the day. And my latest save file that I still have on this PlayStation 3, I actually have. And it's only like 20 hours in to the thing, I think. Yeah, it's uh, it's been a while. I'm going to check out a couple of options first. Vibrations on. I want that. Dashy. Uh, let's keep to that. Yeah. Should should be all good. Buttons are gonna mess me up all over the place though. Anyways, so without further ado, let's start off this let's play. This long let's play. Brother Fire 4. I suppose I should enter a name. Oh, that's not the button for that. Ah, ah, already a good start. All right, back, back, back. And this time, unlike Breath of Fire 3, I can actually enter my full name. It all started on the third day after we had left the castle. That morning, we had entered the great desert on our sand flyer. We were heading towards the town of Sinesta, the last known location of my sister, Elena. Sinesta lies on the edge of the desert. All we had to do was cross the desert. Ray, shooting star. We'll find her, won't we, Cray? Don't worry, Nina. We'll find her. I swear it. Out here. Oh, 
Don't worry, Curry. I'm all right. I was just thinking that it's probably better if we don't move around during the day. Let's find some shade and wait until the sun goes down. Really, I'm all right, Cray. Besides, I want to find my sister as soon as possible. Calm down. We've come this far. It won't hurt to rest hold for a while. Not much of a change. Yeah, not much of a change if we get there today or tomorrow. What the? A dragon! I'd heard that there was a dragon in the desert, but I was hoping we wouldn't be lucky enough to find it. Here it comes! Hold on to something. I've never heard of dragons attacking people before. Even if he doesn't mean to attack us, we can't let it hit us. Blast it! No use! It's gonna ram us! That's no use. Stan's gotten into everything. I can't fix it. Not without any spirit parts. Do you think that dragon attacked us on purpose? Hard to say. We haven't seen it since then either. Well, whether it did or not, should be thankful that we crashed near the edge of the desert and not in the middle. Here, we're in walking distance of the towns along the desert border. Do you think we can find the parts we need at one of them? Probably. But there's one small problem. If we leave our sand flyer here, we run the risk of it getting stolen by bandits. Not much point in going into town and coming back with spare parts if there's no sand flyer to use them on. Alright then, I'll go, Cray. But, Nina. I can't live my whole life with you looking out for me. For starters, what would my sister think? You win, Nina. Let's see. If I remember right, there's a town called Sir Sarai to the south of here. Might be able to find some parts there. Good luck, Nina. I'm counting on you. Don't worry. I'll be back before you know it. Here. Take this. The King Sword. I hope you won't need to use it. But uh, better safe than sorry, right? Do you want to get back, Cray? Safe trip, Nina. You watch yourself here. And now we're in full control. Nina, with the triangle, can actually go up and down and you can get a better perspective of a map. Of a map if it's an overworld map. And then we get into the game itself. Nina starts off at 5th level cool. But she's not exactly the most physically powerful. In fact, she mostly does her powerful stuff through her spells. Starts with a level 1 
wind magic, heal, and purify. That's neat. This is also, well, this tab is for learn skills, which is a thing that we'll probably eventually get into later. Uh, let's see, I believe I only start, yep, start with three herbs and an arm. Well, let's head to Sarai and see if we can't find some spare parts for the sand fire. I just love the aesthetic of this game. Oh, we've encountered something on the map, and it's important. Somebody, somebody help me. Whoa, look at the size of the hole. That merchant and his goods must have fallen in. Just like this. There, there's something here. It's not attacking? It's not a monster, I guess. That is funny. For some reason, I wasn't scared at all. Huh? A person? Whoa! Um... If you wouldn't mind, do you think you could put on some clothes? I'm sure you can find some of the carriage there. Huh? Eh. Oh, so you mean you're not working with that merchant who was here? How did you get inside this crater then? Did you fall in? How did such a big hole get here in the first place anyways? Did you see that monster that was here before? You know, the one that looked like a dragon or something? I wonder what it really was. Oh, I'm sorry. You probably don't know the answers to those questions any more than I do, do you? Oh, uh, my name is Nina. I'm from Windia. What's your name? Darius? Alright then, Darius. Let's see if we can get out of here. Oh, Darius, where are you heading to? Don't know. That means you're lost. Yes, it does. Admit it. You're lost. There's nothing to be ashamed about. I got lost a lot when I was younger. Alright then, Darius. Why don't you come with me to the nearest town? Darius got the king's sword can use the sword. You might need it. To get to town, we have to go through areas populated by monsters. Let's get going then, shall we? And yes, Dina is probably the most talkative character of this entire game. Ah, uh, and now we have... Darius in the party. He starts at level 1, but is... Pretty much just as powerful, I think, as Nina. 
a little bit more powerful the power stat that is but he is encrypted with clothes he's essentially got a t-shirt on and the king sword which uh something that i've never really done in the previous game uh that wasn't it I'd like to use an item i think it's an equipped then yeah so uh king sword has the same effect as protect you can use items in the game and it will do certain effects kind of like in uh the first final fantasy game where you could use shirts and whatnot to cast spells that's gonna be very helpful actually well oh this was not actually the next point but this was a random encounter now random encounters in this are pretty good in that most every time that you run into a new one uh, you actually have a chance of finding an item in the random encounter somewhere of course there's also monsters Ah, cool. I get to show off the Mage Goose. So, uh, unlike previous Breath of Fire game, you know, Breath of Fire 3, you can just guard in order to learn spells from your enemies. So if this, yep, there it goes. It goes and uses Burn. And Nina learns it. It's a l Honestly, I do prefer that opposed to just... Oh, hey, I'm going to spend my turn watching the monster. It makes sense, but it's still annoying. That said, you can now look at the monster's stats directly in the thing. So you can actually see that, hey, I goose are lazy and often rest. While mage goose burn. So let's have Nina try out her new... Actually, let's have her use Sever first. I'm telling you, this game blew my mind back in the day when I first played it. I think I have to injure the Igu first? Maybe. Hmm. Curious. Oh, ah. Curse and memory cursor. Well, let's damage the Igu first, see if that makes him do his thing where he get, decides to rest. No, not yet. Uh, now? Dang it. <laughs> Killed it. Oh well, at least Darius leveled up. And you get shown each of the stats every single time that you do. Uh, CP. I suppose I could go over the stats as well. Jeez, there's a lot to go over with this game. And once again, I am going to accidentally press triangle instead of square to go into the menu. So, stats. All of it's pretty self-explanatory. Power and defense. Phys is your ability to, you know, do damage and not take damage. Uh, agility, pretty much who goes first in combat. While it also works at you can uh, choose what order characters go in. It's, it's kind of a weird thing. And Wisdom, of course, is pretty much solely directed towards your uh, damage with your spells. You lose all your HP, you die. AP is how much uh, attack points or action points or whatever you want to call them for your spells and abilities. CP is cool. That makes it so as you can gain back ability points if you are in the back of the row. And... By the back, I mean, like, there's a front here, and then there's a back over here. But we don't have enough characters for that yet. Foreshadowing. Let's, uh, go ahead and heal up Darius. I probably could have just used an herb. He has... Ah, here we are. Found a baby frog. Cool fishing item right off the bat. Fishing in this is also a lot more, uh... I don't want to say specialized. What's the word I'm looking for? A lot more complicated, but not too much more complicated.
Let's see. We have to go over those cliffs to get to Sarai. Let's hurry and try to get to, and try to get over them before it gets dark. And much like in uh, previous Breath of Fire, you can move your camera in 45 degree angles, but in this, the camera can uh, stay in one place as opposed to just staying in that one fixed angle. So, you might need that for later puzzles. Ooh, croc deer. And what it shows you at the top of the screen when it comes to experience points, that gets divided up. So, if you see 300 experience points and you have three characters, it's divided into 100 experience points per character. I learned this the hard way. <laughs> wonder if we can run into another fun little monster that's around here. I really want to learn rest as soon as possible. What it, if I remember what it does, I think what it does is it makes it so as your character falls asleep, but they gain back all of their HP. So like you use it, ooh, there's an item up there. So you use rest and then you have another character use an item Yes! Behold, the Furious Cap. These ducks are usually quite peaceful and rarely attack. But when they do, use their mighty distracted ability. They stare off into space. <laughs> Need to learn distracted. Oh, dang it. Where's you, memory cursor? I don't... They do attack eventually, but it's... It's just funny. Just funny. I love it. Now I think too what they do in this game is that they separate the damage types. So like there's actual physical attack and then there's magical based attacks. I think. And some monsters will be more resilient to physical if they're heavily armored. Ammonia. That's the item that makes it so as I have a chance of raising from the dead, right? Revives one target with a 25% chance of max HP. Okay, so they improved it, I think. Let's go over there. Looks like we got, we've run out of road. Don't worry. Should be able to just jump over this. All you have to do is jump in is stand is a place where it's narrow enough to jump and press the X button or move in the direction you want to jump using the directional buttons. Try it. See? It's easy, isn't it? One more to go. Good thing you were able to jump. We're really high up. Well, I just love that feeling you get looking down from high a place like this. Makes me dizzy. It's so exciting. Are you all right, Darius? Did you do that because you thought I needed help? You're not hurt, are you? I'm sorry, I didn't tell you about my wings. I can use them to fly a little, so I can survive a fall like that. But it was very brave of you to do that, Darius. Very brave and heroic. Thank you. Looks like the sun's going down. It's probably safer if we wait until it's light to climb up the cliff. Let's look for a place we can sleep. How about this way? Ah. Looks like we could camp here. Now what we need is a fire. 
And that's how I ended up here. Where are you heading, Darius? Whoops, I forgot. You're lost, aren't you? Tomorrow, once we get to town, I'm sure we'll be able to find someone who knows you. So, the time hath come. Yes, my lord. Majesty, it would appear that something is amiss. Where are the courtiers, the priests? Why is there not a single voice raising greeting at thy return? Tis not of import. They are mortals. Were we to attempt to understand their mind, we should spend an eternity. There will be more pressing matters to attend to. Canst thou not sense it? His presence. Tis far. Still slumbering. But tis what we have sought oh these many ages. Wong Ku, guard our place of rest. As you were, sire. Majesty, whither art thou going? We shall go to our capital as we as was planned. We shall meet at the appointed place when the time hath come. What mystery is this character? I'm going to let you guys figure that out next episode. Because that's a good place to stop. Uh, thank you all so very much for watching. I hope you guys are going to enjoy this as much as I know I love this game. I probably could have gushed about this game if I had played it as much as Breath of Fire 3. But I'm excited. I love this. So, thank you all so very much for watching. And I hope to see you guys in the next video. Take care. Cheers.